Hi everyone, today I have a very special and amazing book for you. It's the C++20 STL Cookbook and it's by Bill Weinman and published by Packet Books. Um, it's truly a testament to the ongoing improvements that the C++ language is continuing to incorporate into the latest standards. Now this book does assume that you already are well versed in C++ programming concepts. Uh, so don't go over any of the basics of C++, but really kind of just jumps right into the goodies of all the latest improvements, which I find enjoyable myself. Um, now I've begun exploring these latest improvements on my own uh, a while back, and while doing this was definitely a good start, it just kind of wasn't enough. You know, it's like they say, you don't know what you don't know, right? I mean, come on. So, that is why I love this book. Um, the cookbook here, the STL20 cookbook, it's because it makes sure you actually know about all the new improvements that have been going on. Um, so, a few of the things I learned was how to make safer templates by using the new concepts and constraints functionality. Um, it taught me all about the new ranges collection, how to use views and view adapters. Um, it even gets into the STL container classes, which are, you know, really a staple of the STL since early on. We learned about new techniques for removing elements easily and efficiently uh, from these containers, as well as keeping containers sorted while we're in certain things. How to effectively modify elements in containers, like the maps. Um, basically, really, so much more. Additionally, there are chapters on uh, compatible iterators, lambda expressions, STL algorithms, string streams, and format, um, utility classes, concurrency and parallelism, um, using the file system, and there's definitely even a few more ideas to help keep those creative juices flowing. Um, it also has some fun projects to build along the way, so it really gives you a chance to use the new features firsthand. We build a reverse Polish notation calculator using a deck. Um, there's a frequency counter we build with a map. Um, we can find long strings with a vector and make a to-do list even using a multi-map. Um, and even a disk usage counter <laughs> there in there as well. So quite a few projects. Uh, C++ 20 STL cookbook. It's just that, really. It's just a book of recipes that really help you to understand what the new features are, how you can use them in your code. Um, so it's really good. I definitely recommend this book to anyone who programs in C++. Um, but if you are new to C++ and new to object-oriented programming and don't really have these concepts down, then you might want to start with something more basic first. Uh, but if you got down the basics already and are looking to just improve um, what you know, then I think this book is probably for you. Um, it's really good. So Packet Books has definitely done it again and brought us another great book. Um, the C++20 STL Cookbook by Bill Wyman. It's truly a gem. So get your copy today and enjoy. Thank you.